Hey everyone, Wandabot here, and welcome to Beat Saber as part of the, I guess, indie game lightning round slash, like, the VR block of it. I don't know. I, I'm i just playing a lot of random indie games. I spent a couple hundred dollars just picking up as many as I possibly could over the uh, the Steam Christmas sale. Plus, you know, honestly, I've just been kind of accruing them uh, because I like, I like games, I like showing off games, and this is one of those games that everybody says, Wander, you should play this, so we're going to play it. Anyway, it's technically my second take on this. I tried playing some earlier. Uh, but my mouse is on the screen, and my commentary was definitely confused. And so, gonna start over. I'm still going to be absolutely awful at this, because coordination is not my strong suit. It can be. I can be good at things, but I always need practice if it's something new. And so, I don't know, go from there. Anyway, Beat Saber, stylish as hell. I feel like it wants me to move over a bit. No, never mind. I just have to watch out for cables. Unfortunately, I've got a honking headset on on top of the the uh, the VR setup. I should probably figure out how some of my other buddies get their their setup so they're actually audible while playing VR. Because my quality is good. The problem is I've got giant freaking cords in the way, and I don't like that. But that's okay. Anyway, so, what is Beat Saber? I mean, it's pretty obvious. It's... What? DDR for a, uh... for VR setups. What else is there to say about it? It's pretty slick. I love the visuals. It, it's very... Shoot. There is a... game like this a long time ago that worked in a very similar manner. It was like one of the early indie games to really come out and be promoted on Steam, but I've totally forgotten the name of it. But every time I see this game, I absolutely just remember it. And it's kind of cool, and it's kind of basic. You know what? Actually, even beyond that, I remember a game kind of like this. There was a... It was like on the PS2 demo disc, where you had to like go through beats and whatnot. Uh, let's see, no bombs, no bombs. Looks like there's no difference. Let's go this one. I don't know if there's too much of a difference between either. I know there's a certain point where you have to not make mistakes. And obviously I'd like to avoid those levels because I suck. Well, I don't know. Suck might not be the right word, but I've definitely seen some people absolutely just like slice and dice their way through this. Next to no problems. I do love the physics interactions of just everything here. It'll be interesting seeing how VR develops over the years. Am I feeling rubble? Yeah. Yeah, there's a little bit of a vibration when I hit everything when the lightsabers touch each other. Well, sorry, the beat sabers. When the Beat Sabers touch anything, there's a vibration. Missed it. The cables are more of an issue than I thought they were going to be. Yeah, I might have to pick up an Oculus Quest. Though honestly, at this point, I don't actually know if I want to get another Oculus. I'm kind of hoping Valve comes out with a wireless headset. Because I, I prefer Valve's hardware, even if it's more expensive, mainly because Facebook creeps me the heck out. Social media sites in general creep me out. I'm kind of glad that Google never actually succeeded at making Google Plus into a thing that people use. I remember the day when everybody switched over to it, like when it came out. Man, has Google Plus been dead for like a year now? Feels like it. But I remember when they made Google Plus and all my tech friends were like, yeah, you know, it's like Facebook, but it's not creepy and weird. And so I got kind of excited for that all the same. Doesn't seem like there's too much I want to change there. Um, and so, yeah, all my friends were sending out like invites because you had a certain amount of invites that you could send out uh, Facebook style. I think that actually worked against them. There was kind of that hype moment 
But then it took forever for everybody to get on the platform, at which point nobody, other than the early adopters, were actually interested in it. The, the excitement had worn off and no one was interested anymore. And then it was just a bad social media site because it was just boring. There was nothing exciting about it. No one was on it. And it was just kind of inferior. And they weren't trying to, like, add anything else apart from just, like, hooking it onto all of their other services. At which point it was like, you have to use Google+. Like, they straight up forced all YouTubers to have to use it for a while. And boy, that made people upset. It certainly had its issues, too. But, like, there were people left and right that were just... Uh, trying to figure out... Oh, did I hit a... No, I didn't hit a bomb. Okay. There are people trying to find, like, ways around even using it. And it was, like, screwing up channels and some other stuff. I think that was, like, one of the first adpocalypse kind of situations where everybody was just super up in arms about something Google had done. I think there had always been people being like, this is the algorithm! But that was, like, the first time that I remember. I don't know. I'm just rambling, because it's hard to keep, uh, carry on a topic. While you're doing rhythm games. I'm doing okay, actually. I was expecting I'd have a harder time of this. But this ain't so bad. Definitely a must-have as far as, like, good VR games go. I'd like to find... Oh, that's a new one. I don't think I've done that before. I definitely have to find and put together some kind of, like, must-have VR list. Especially... for people that don't have VR and are just getting it. And people like me, they ex get extremely motion sick. Because I get super motion sick with certain things. Like, my moderator, uh, Cryoris, was very kind for my birthday and gave me um, Skyrim VR. And I tried playing it. And I think within like half an hour of going, it was magic. I still have to put out that video. Uh, but like, it was just a half hour of goof. And then 10 minutes of just being like, oh god, I'm going to throw up because of the way movement was handled in that game. And that was just an issue. I really gotta figure out how to handle my cords. Because they keep getting in the way. Let's see, put the cords on my back. Maybe the problem is I feel like no matter what, that'd be an issue. I don't know. I think I just gotta get used to moving. Maybe if I stand up straighter and don't lean over too much. Because I think part of it is I definitely lean over when I'm, like, moving. It's a good workout. Like, I was considering doing Ring Fit tonight. But I don't think Ring Fit is exactly in the cards after hefty bout of VR. I'm also surprised how much my wrist is tired. But then again, I was playing a lot of platformery things. Ah, damn it. I got close. Sometimes just random reflex hits actually work a lot better than I thought they would. Whoops. Oh, I didn't screw that up? Oh. Thought I made a mistake earlier. I'm noticing my hand positions haven't been so bad. But then again, they're not playing too many tricks on me yet. At least I don't think. I think I missed one. Yeah, I missed a bit. 
as I say, hand positioning hasn't been too bad. I mess it up. I am liking the music, though. Maybe at some point I'll pick up the Monster Cat pack. The problem is, I can't really foresee myself playing this too much. Mainly just because I just can't, <laughs> I can't see myself doing well. This game gets hard. It's already hard. I mean, it's not that hard. But like, I, I can only imagine what happens when you get up to, uh, holy shit. I mean, I guess it makes sense, but damn. There's a lot to get through. What was that? That was 4B? Okay. Uh, probably do either of these. I should probably do both. Because, yeah, like I said, I'd done an episode of this, but I had my mouse cursor on the screen the entire time, and it was distracting enough that I didn't want to deal with it. This is going to be rough. What is this? Five mistakes max? That'll get hairy. It's very industrial sounding. Which I definitely dig. A lot to keep track of. Definitely good for your peripheral vision, if that's an issue. And also, like, multitasking, sort of. Because you definitely can't just, uh, pay attention to one block. At all. Because you have to keep in mind what's coming up, what color is coming up, the direction, and it's often more than one. Part of the reason why I never really got into uh, DDR is I could never keep track of all of that. It was impossible. This isn't so bad, but then again, it certainly helps that there's kind of an immersive nature to all of this, that since they're flying directly at me, it's a little easier to process. Though I think I will still always prefer stuff like, uh, expect you to die. Because that, that was like peak VR for me. Which I didn't really expect. Somebody had just suggested it and I was like, yeah, this looks kind of campy. I'll play it for half an hour. And the answer was no. It's actually by and far the best VR game I've played so far. There was a couple more that were actually probably higher quality. Like, honestly, Beat Saber. Okay, so we want to do this one. Yeah, I got no mistakes. That was pretty good. And a punch the microphone. I apologize. Unfortunately, I can't see the mic. And it's already hard enough for me to, like, not punch the mic as it is. So, now that I'm in this, like, weird VR... ...existence where my physical form is more of an inconvenience than anything else, full dive will be interesting. I don't know if we'll get that before I'm too old to do it, though. Which would be a bit of a shame. But then again, there's a lot of really good games between now and then, so I can't really complain too much. Plus, via uh, full dive might get really confusing and creepy if people start abusing it. Which is always a concern. Oh, am I too close to you, Shell? Oh, Shell doesn't want to get hacked. But yeah, I'd hate to get hacked. Imagine being in a full dive situation and somebody, like, hacks it and just starts, like... Like... I don't know. I don't even know... What the potentials could be. I know stuff like Ghost in the Shell paints a pretty dark picture of that kind of future for, like, what could happen. Or maybe it wouldn't be so bad, but, like... Maybe it could be. Maybe you get fried during it. I remember one of my required readings when I was in high school. No, I didn't make a mistake there. Required readings 
in high school was a book called Feed. Uh, sorry, have to focus a little bit. This got hairier. Anyway, so Feed was about how everybody had brain jacks that connected them, them to the internet. And conceptually, it was really cool. Oh, I've almost caught up. Uh, conceptually, it was really cool. The problem is... Uh... Oh, is this no arrows? Wait, what? Mission failed. Uh, do I retry? I guess I have to slash. Usually I just poke them because it's funny. But yeah, it looks like I actually have to slash them. Bit of a shame. Because I rather like poking. Anyway, so Feed was about people with implants that let them connect to the internet and so on and so forth. And all the cool and kind of dystopic things that it let them do. And I thought that was a really neat concept. Unfortunately, it meant a lot of people just like downloading effectively digital drugs to their brains and like advertisements getting in and uh, one of the main characters gets hacked and ends up developing a neurological disorder as a result because she didn't get her feed until later. And more or less, it just like rotted her brain. Now, obviously, I bet we'd have a lot more safety testing than that. But who knows? So the future is both exciting and terrifying with that sort of thing. I mean, obviously, I'm sure a lot of people are also used to stuff like Dot Hack and Log Horizon as other ex or yeah, Dot Hack, Log Horizon, uh, SAO as kind of the other examples of the dangers of VR. <laughs> Which, admittedly, that sort of thing is a little bit definitely swung. But that's okay. My style for this mission is flailing. And occasionally blinding you with a lightsaber in front of your face. But I guess that's kind of this entire game, so I don't know. Hope y'all are used to it by this point. I'm actually, I think this is my favorite song. The industrial one on the last one was pretty cool, but this one just is kind of neat, especially because I don't actually have to worry about arrows. So I can just sit around just swinging away with reckless abandon. I'm sure Shell could tell you, but it looks like I'm just slapping these blocks repeatedly. Just, you know, keep the hand firm. It's very swishy, which I think is part of the reason why I like it so much, because it's just like, wee. Oh, sorry, didn't even process. I would make a terrible duelist. I'd just be screwing around always. But ain't that the fun of it. This is a neat game. Ah, uh, let's see. So, now I'm fully caught up. I think there's, like, one or two missions I haven't done. I was starting to do this one, and then it was hell, because I can only make one mistake of each type. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be freaking hard. But, that's how it works. The other thing is, I believe... Yeah, the songs start looping after a certain point. I don't actually know what the uh, overall soundtrack for this game is. It's a little disappointing that... It's a little disappointing that they don't have a unique song for every level. But then again, I guess that'd be hard, and also, like... Would really lock you out of a lot of level design. It's like, this is the easy song. I guess for me, I maybe it's just because they're showing up so early. 
Because it's like, I want to see the depth and breadth of the li library of songs before they start repeating too much. Oh. Uh, that's gonna be an issue. No more bad cuts. No, I just have to be perfect. Yeah, when's that happen? I'm not perfect. I got some hella flaws. Well, honestly, I'm pretty satisfied with myself. I think I had more self-esteem issues when I was younger. Definitely being out on my own, living on my own, paying bills and whatnot. Huge for my sense of self-esteem. Definitely bad for my sense of stress. But, like, it's a lot easier to feel self-worth when you're paying all the bills and living in your own home. Even though that's a bit of a pipe dream for a lot of people nowadays. It super sucks. I mean, technically, I don't even own this home. I just don't want to buy a house yet. The houses are expensive. And I also don't know what part of the country I want to live in. Because, yeah, I've lived in the Northeast. I've lived all over the U.S. I actually made it without making any mistakes. I guess I'm doing surprisingly well. Uh, let's do this one. No arrows again. I like it. I like it when they have no arrows. I almost wish that was a modifier so I could just sit around and just goofing. I almost did it with the red lightsaber. Y'all saw it. I almost made that goof. That would have been bad. The other thing I was looking at specifically, I'm just going to talk about boring adult stuff because it's the only thing in my head right now. Ah, what? No, shit. All right, how do I start over? That's not how I start over. Restart. I pressed the, uh, the Oculus menu button. I don't know if that shows up, but the game doesn't stop when that happens. So, I'm sitting there, menu is like slowly popping up, and here I am, unable to swing my lightsabers at anything. Maybe I could have actually kept swinging it, but it would have been an issue all the same. I'm gonna have to have a shell play this at some point. I'd love to see what she looks like. We might set my um, GoPro back up at some point, just so we can do a video with just um, me dancing effectively. We'd have to get my uh, green screen. Oop. We'd have to get my green screen set up. or clean this room. Not that it's too bad. It's just like... I'll be... Oh. Can't believe I actually didn't flub that one. That was an absolutely massive flub. Yeah. Maybe once we move again. I will look into getting an absolutely monstrous green wall, effectively. Point a camera at it and have that be the dedicated VR space. Our lease is going to be up soonish. I don't think we're going to move this time around just because moving sucks. But someday I want to live in a house where I have... An absolutely ginormous finished basement with. Almost missed that one. Uh, absolutely ginormous finished basement. Oh. Definitely screwed that one up. Whoops. 
now I'm just now I'm just getting distracted. But absolutely ginormous finished basement, like two couches, couple of TVs, big computer bank, just the most comfy room. Uh, that's the new pipe dream. Anyway, disappearing arrows. Oh shit! Uh, uh combo minimum fifty. This is terrifying. Let's reach this speci specified combo number. That should be easy enough. That's not so bad. It gets bad when it gets dense. Because yeah, I have to keep my eyes and more or less play this game purely on the peripheral. I'm liking this song though. I almost made it to the requisite combo number. That's yeah, when I get flustered. That's when everything goes wrong. Because I start looking at stuff. <sighs> How do I restart this? Mission failed. Yes, clearly. That that is a pra that is something that you got to get used to. Damn, I thought it wasn't going to be so bad. But yeah, the problem is once they start getting kind of dense or quick or if you have something to pay attention to or if you're having trouble cuz you missed. Who boy. Luckily for the most part it follows very clear patterns. Problem is, if you miss the first one, or if they hide each other, then you're effectively doomed. I missed that one entirely. I've already completed the mission, you don't need to worry, Shell. Well. This is harder than I thought it would be. At this point, half of these, I'm just guessing. It really does not help that the blocks... Whoops. I had the combo. The problem is, it really does get, like, hairy once you get to a certain point. And, like, then you just have to keep your HP up. But, like, one missed cycle and you're kind of boned. At least you can kind of memorize it. Sort of. But, yeah, if I was a taller person, this might not be so bad. Because, yeah, half the blocks spawning in are actually blocked by the other blocks. Can't believe I didn't screw that up. This is tough. Also hard on my back. Doing better this time. I 
just really have to train myself to always look ahead. Alright, up until that last segment there, and that, that hurt a bit, but we got it! Yay! I don't feel nearly bad enough badass enough for that. Anyway. Oh, oh, dump, dump. oh. Okay, disappearing arrows again. Level insane. No obstacles at least. Yeah, well I'm used to this. I... Oh. Oops. I'm just gonna... Kinda like that <laughs> sound effect. Just donk, donk, donk. Alright. So we try. Yeah, the problem is... I have to keep my eyes always looking forward. Don't bump the headset. Because the problem is, you effectively have to play this game in the periphery. And if you don't, you have no idea what's coming at you. And good luck with that. Because, yeah, if any of these blocks show up and you miss it, it's just like a one in four guess. And some of them don't like to conform to what you think they would be. Luckily, there's a lot of gimmies. But then there aren't. It's going a little easier. I can't imagine this kind of thing on, like, maximum difficulty. We might not make it there. What? Well, we already got the combo multiplier we need. So everything else is just cake. I already had a cheesecake. What was that shell? Red versus blue? You wanna... Explain? Red versus blue? Let's go. Oh, I always prefer blue. Blue is absolutely my... My, like, go-to kind of generic color. Eh. Screwed it up at the very end. Unsurprising. Uh, let's see. Do we do more? Song will play faster. Yeah, let's try that. No arrows is okay. Oh, boy. This is gonna be a workout. 100%. Is this just the same level again? I think it is. Yeah. Does that count? Yeah, that counted. I'm doing tricks. Now, I'm not sure. Y'all will have to tell me after the fact. But, like, it certainly does feel like... A lot of these levels are, honestly, my lightsabers are, like, off-screen. And it feels weird, because... You know, obviously, I want to show the gameplay. But it feels like, in certain cases, my beat sabers are just doing their thing elsewhere, and y'all are just, like... Kind of assuming it's working right. But maybe the field of view is better on the Oculus Mirror than it is for me. Which I guess is fair. And fine. Whew. This is hard on my back. That's going to be a thing I'm going to have to worry about eventually. I mean, I already have back issues occasionally. 
It hasn't been so bad recently. I got a Ikea Marcus. A, uh... What was it? A year and a half ago? Two years ago now? Two years ago now. I guess. It was just kind of like a random impulse buy. I was just like, my back hurts. And yeah, my chair at the time sucked. And so I was just like, I need it. Was that perfect? I felt like it was perfect. Combo 195? I think that might have been perfect. <sighs> um, C9A. <laughs> Miss nothing, no obstacles, disappearing arrows, man. Oh. Let's just go with this one. This will be the last one. But yeah, so... It was just like some afternoon, my back hurt. My chair was disintegrating. It was just a cheap... I mean, it wasn't a cheap chair. It was like a hundred buck chair from Office Depot or Office Max. I think they're the same company at this point, so it doesn't really matter. Um, But I had been looking kind of at picking up some of those, like, really expensive good chairs. But, you know, like the 1,000, 2,000 ones being like, well, it is my back. Then eventually I was just like, eh, let's get an Ikea Marcus. They've got pretty good reviews. Ah, holy shit. There's just a lot going on earlier. I have to, like, scuttle around here. Okay. But yeah, I picked that chair up. And it was downright fantastic. Do not settle for less... ...when it comes to taking care of your health. If you can afford it. Good bed. Good chair. I'm just giving dad advice now. Freaking wander dad. Eventually, I am going to be like 40, 50 years old, still doing this, and just being like, all right, now don't forget to brush your, seriously, don't forget to brush your teeth. Uh, dental health is important, and that's not the kind of thing that you can just be like, doctor, fix my teeth. They'll be like, all right, time for new fake teeth, and you're like, ah, shit. Seriously. Bad battle. You know, now that I think about it, you could almost play this game just sitting kind of on the ground and just rolling back and forth. Whoops. Missed a lot there, but that's fine. I always get to the last like 10 seconds and then it's all bad, but whatever. But yeah, I'm just gonna have the compilation of Weird Dad. Oh, song will play slower. Miss nothing. Slow. Okay, this will be the last one. Because I'm fine, fine with that. I'm enjoying Beat Saber. It's definitely the kind of game where I almost would prefer it without all these, like, random modifiers and it just gets progressively more ridiculous as you go along. But then again, I don't know. There's kind of a maximum speed for me on these games where I'm just like, anything more than this is just not fun. I was kind of wish I could turn on my own modifiers, like... You know, just get rid of the arrows and just let me go nuts. I thought this was go slower. I guess it's slower, it's just denser, so it feels fast. That's probably exactly it. This is this is wild. I don't know. I have a lot of respect for developers that come up with stuff like this. It's interesting, because originally I had, like, zero interest in VR, mainly because I knew a lot of the early, early VR developers in college. Oh, well, not early ones, but I knew a lot of people attempting to get into it, and half the stuff that they made was just trash. It was just not good. And the VR sets themselves were, like, 480p nonsense. I guess that's why you couldn't sit on the ground. You wouldn't be able to tell anything coming at you. I'm like southpawing through this. Shell is like laughing because I look silly.
<sighs> oh, we're not done. And there's bombs. I, like, get my hands way out of the way. It was a bit risky. Was that it? That's it? Good stuff. Oh, man. Let me take a look at this one. I gotta see it. Move your hands enough to travel. Oh! So I have to have my hands out at all times. It's minimum movement. I was... I thought it was restraining me. But no, it's... Move your hands as much as possible. Big sweeps. Big sweeps. You might notice me flinging my arms about randomly. Oh boy. Minimum. Nope. It's 650 meters. I just... Hello, Rig Fit! I didn't expect you in VR today. Shit! Good freaking lord! Minimum movement. 600 meters. Well, they don't tell you. It's holy shit blocks. Ah, uh, all right, one more try, and then we stop one way or another. I don't like throwing in the towel, but I also don't like needing a towel in the middle of a stream. I'd rather use this energy on something new and not quite as dickish. Whoops, shit. is enough Beat Saber for me. My arms are getting tired and my elbows are starting to hurt, so let's go play something else. Whew. Quit. App. Oh.